Charity, what are three words to describe who you are? Three words. Creative, artsy, adventurous. What does your typical day in your week look like? Ooh, a typical day. Um, I start out with some coffee. It's a good way to start. And I get up, I play with my kids for a little bit and they go off to school and I get some work done on my computer and then our evenings usually end up at the beach doing some workout, doing some yoga, some dinner and then start all over again the next day. How did you first become interested in beauty? Ooh, um, I've always just loved the creative side of beauty, just the artistic expression and so to me it's always just been a way to feel like myself and um, like display who I am and the way I look so like that's why the fun hair color has always been such a big thing for me just to have like this bold bright color and just I feel like it um, just allows me to be me. What are the three beauty products you can't live without or if you could choose only one product for the rest of your life what is that product? Oh no one product oh gosh well it would have to be hair color <laughs> <laughs> I would and think a good so. hair color with a nice conditioner base so that I could like Get the Key. two and the one. So, Key, yeah. I like that. You're it's not wrong. Be color. What's one beauty secret you've never told anyone? No. I know we don't keep a lot of secrets I here. We're the like Sally I crew. Got, I know. <laughs> what do you do? You have any secrets that you've shared? Maybe. Ooh, I um, I like to sleep with my hair in braids, and that's not something I talk about a lot. But I think that it helps. Um, keep my hair protected and also when I wake up in the morning I can have a heatless curl and so I feel like people are like I think I always have my hair styled but really it's just like that secret of like going to bed with your hair in a nice little tight braid and then when you take out in the morning it's like bam you've got like styled hair without using any heat and no time so. What product is an oldie but a goodie? An oldie but a goodie. Um, any deep conditioner. I feel like honestly like if you have a good conditioner and it keeps your hair nice and moisturized and shiny and healthy, then you can have so much more fun if your hair is taken good care of. So a, a good, solid, deep conditioner. Is that be is, that's a staple for sure. What was your worst beauty experience? Oh man, I've had a few, I would have to say. Um, so my worst one was probably my first attempt at bleaching my hair at my house with some, some box bleach. I think that that was uh, quite an experiment for me. And it came out it came out pretty blotchy. <laughs> How would you describe your unique beauty style? Ooh, my unique, well, I guess mermaidy. I That's what I was gonna say. I <laughs> feel like I'm a constantly in this mermaid vibe. So I love blues and greens and purples. And so I feel like, um, yeah, I just, I like the ocean and all that stuff, so I just feel like I embody the mermaid, the mermaid You definitely <laughs> do. You definitely do. Are there any beauty rules or stereotypes that bother you? Um, well, I think that fashion colors are, get a little bit of a, of a bad rep. Like, I think that means you're, you're a little bit, um crazy or punk or I don't even know like but I just I do kind of feel like nowadays it's getting more and more accepted and, and more considered professional like you can actually have some colored hair and still be taken seriously so <laughs> I like that it's becoming more more popular and, and more trendy and, and not such a, a, a centric thing and do do you avoid certain ingredients in your beauty products Ooh, yeah, I try to keep it sulfate and paraben free. I just feel like helps just keep your hair nice and soft and healthy. Absolutely. And Those are the two the big ones The less chemicals, for me. the better. So, Who is your ultimate style and beauty icon? Oh, can I say myself? Or yes, no, come please off do. A little, like, no, do. I don't know. Is it a little You're bit You're amazing. Cool? You can. I do. I just, I feel like I, I pull from so many different artists and creators that, to create my own unique look, and I just... I don't know. I just I I have so much fun expressing myself and and just pulling from different things. What's something your followers always ask you? How to make the color last longer. I think everyone wants to know that secret on how to get this their bright fun colors to last as long as possible. So, yeah, I like to like share a few tips and tricks on how to just keep that color just lasting a little bit longer, a little bit brighter. Um, now, do you have any tips for making nail polish, hair color, 
or hairstyles last longer. Oh, there you go. Um, yeah, don't wash your hair. <laughs> <laughs> it helps. No, I know you gotta wash your hair, but there's definitely some tips and tricks just to make it um, to, to to make it last a little bit longer. I like a good dry shampoo will always be helpful, and a good deep conditioner when you do wash your hair helps it stay soft and moisturize uh, a little bit longer. What is your go-to hair color? Uh, let's just, blue. Blue, blue? All yeah, the way. I, I, I thought can't. so. I, I thought it might I've be. I've tried to stray a little way from blue, but I just always come back. It's got to be, <laughs> got to be in the blue family. You look so good in it. Oh, I mean, how do you, you switch it? What is your typical hair care? Uh, in what order do you use products and how often do you wash your hair? Okay. Hmm. I try to wash my hair as, as few times as possible just to help long, make the color last longer. Um, probably once a week I'll wash my hair. I'll have like my hair washing day and it usually starts out with like a nice good deep conditioner and then a leave-in conditioner and then I always, always use a heat protecting spray. How do you prevent hair damage and deal with split ends? A deep conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be a common no, thread. Yeah, but also like um, a good spray-in conditioner too because then you can just really le spray it in the ends mm -hmm. and just leave it in there and you're good to go and right I always you don't have to rinse like, it yeah, it's like a nice little seal what's in your purse do you have like any beauty products on the go <laughs> oh beauty products on the go i i keep it pretty simple i like to take care of my my hair at home and then have it set for when i'm out so yeah if i did bring one product with me though like if i'm going to the beach or i know i'm going to be outside for a long time <laughs> i will bring a good conditioner and i'll actually put conditioner in my hair um, before i get in the water and i feel like that just helps kind of keep the color locked in and also like helps kind of like a protective shield when i'm out in the element what's something you wish you knew at the start of your beauty journey i wish i knew a lot more about hair care i think i was having so much fun experimenting with my hair and like going crazy that I think that I could have avoided some pretty bad damage if I had just been a little bit more knowledgeable about how to care and like how to use those conditioners and how to maintain health of your hair and that would have just allowed me to do a little more with less damage. What inspires you? What makes you feel confident? Oh, having some bright, bold hair. I think that um, I've tried to go back to some basic colors or natural colors and I, I just I didn't feel like myself so just having this bright vivid hair I think it just makes me feel unique it makes me feel like me and so yeah I like I like the colors. What does beauty mean to you? Beauty is um, a form of self-expression I feel like it, it means just being yourself and um, and kind of displaying yourself for people to see and that comes from like having confidence and and knowing how to care for yourself and give you that you time and um yeah and just ex being express expressive so